Father, we thank you for your children who have joined this program. Father, we thank you for your name, which is great. You are greater than the greatest and higher than the highest. We we'll give you praise, O oh Lord. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon your people today. Educate our spirit by your power. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 For some time now, we are looking at Babylon and the end times. Today, we are going to look at dealing with Bezebub spirits. Dealing with Bezebub spirits. We are reading from 2 Kings chapter 1, from verse 1. Then Moab rebelled against Israel, that is that of Ahab. And Isaiah fell down through a lattice in his upper chamber that was in Samaria, and was sick. And he sent messengers and said unto them, Go and call of Bezebub, the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover of this disease. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say unto them, is it not because there is not a God in Israel that you go to inquire of Bezebub, the God of Ekron? Now therefore thus say the Lord, Thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art gone up, but thou shalt surely die. And Elijah departed. And when the messengers turned back unto him, he said unto them, Why are ye now turned back? And they said unto him, There came a man up to meet us, and said unto us, Go, turn again unto the king that sent you. And said unto him, Thus said the Lord, is it not because there is not a God in Israel that thou sendest to encourage Bezebub, the God of Ekron? Therefore thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art gone up, but shalt surely die. And he said unto them, What manner of man was he which came up to meet you, and told you these words? And they answered him, It was an airy man, and got with a girdle of leather above about his loins. And he said, It is Elijah the Tishbite. And in Matthew chapter 12 from verse 21, and in his name shall the Gentiles trust. Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb. And he healed him in so much that the blind and dumb both spoke and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Is not this the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow does not cast out devils, but by Bezebub, the prince of the devils. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? If I by Bezebub cast out devils, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. In Luke chapter 11, verse 15, but some of them said he cast out devils to Bezebub, the chief of the devils. Another tempting him sought of him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because ye say that I cast out devils to Bezebub. If I by Bezebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they shall be, shall they be your judges. But if I with the finger of God cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. Matthew chapter 9, verse 34. But the Pharisees said, He cast out devils through the prince of the devils. Beelzebub is the chief among the powers of darkness. Beelzebub is a strong man in the spirit realm. A strong man has been defined by Jesus as a chief demon, a chief principality, a chief director of demons. Beelzebub is the prince of demons, so he has a kingdom. Beelzebub has some level of authority. Beelzebub is a ruler, a king. Beelzebub is the god of Ekron, worshipped by the Philistines, god of the flies the patron god of the Philistines in ancient Palestine. Some worship insects as they believe that their gods dwelt in the bodies of insects. Some believe that the human soul can be passed from one body to another. They believe that at death, the human soul passed into the body of an animal or insect, and that at the death of that animal or insect, the soul passed to another body. So Zebub means dwelling. 
The reservoir means a lot of those dwelling in bodies originally not their own. It's also known as Beelzebub, Lord of the Eye House, Lord of the Flies, a leading representative of darkness, a monarch of hell. Beelzebub and Levitian are colleagues in darkness. One is in the air, the other one is in the waters. Baal was the name of the sun god, the chief god of the heathen. Lord of the flies is what Beelzebub is. Lord of the dung is what Beelzebub is. A lot of people are being handed over to this demon Beelzebub. Flies are carriers of various diseases, some of which are deadly. Beelzebub causes various diseases and infirmities. Flies are flying insects. Beelzebub attacks through the air. Remember, Satan is also the prince of the power of the air. Flies show up right before a rain or changing weather. Beelzebub and associates attack right at the point God is trying to make a change in people's lives. Flies distract and harass. Beelzebub does exactly the same thing. Flies infect open wounds. Beelzebub does the same with inner wounds. Flies are attracted to that which is spoiled and refuse. Beelzebub is attracted to immorality, pornography, and every unclean thing. Flies are attracted to and spoil our food. Beelzebub comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Flies often bring the fear of harm. Beelzebub's greatest tool is fear. Flies can bite and inflict pain and sometimes cause bodily harm. Beelzebub bites and causes physical torment. Flies sometimes eat and kill plants intended for our food. Beelzebub is described as a devourer. Flies find the smallest openings and enter into houses. Beelzebub also finds small openings and enters into us. Flies often just buzz around us. Beelzebub can threaten and distract and trouble and harass and oppress. The name Beelzebub, God of the Flies, or Beelzebul, God of the Dung, are ancient names. Beelzebub was a Philistine deity that became associated with satanic idolatry to such an extent that the name later became almost synonymous with Satan, as we've read in scripture. What are the marks of visible attacks? Number one is violent dream attacks. They attack people violently in the dream, violent to the point of crying to real life, violent to the point of falling off from the bed, violent to the point of people feeling strangulated, Violent to the point of people even having blood coming out of them. The spirit of Beelzebub. Two, floating spiritual lives. They ensure that people don't settle down spiritually. They ensure that people live fake spiritual lives. They ensure that people don't take the things of God seriously. They make people forget their quiet time. They make people forget their Bible reading. They make people forget their memory verses. It vanishes into the air, floating spiritual life. Three, Beelzebub is responsible for feeling light in the head. Some just feel light-headed. Without any sickness, they feel light-headed and feel like just collapsing. Four, Beelzebub is responsible for manipulative sicknesses, manipulative infirmities. Infirmities that seem to dodge diagnosis, dodge treatment, show one face but is another manipulative infirmities. I pray that every power and activity of the spirit of Beelzebub will be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Five, Beelzebub is responsible for stubborn drug resistant infirmities. Infirmities where drugs are not useful, where drugs are terribly resisted, they are the handiwork of the visible spirits. Six, constant attacks on progress. Anytime this person wants to move forward, there's a constant attack on that progress, a constant stoppage 
of somebody having an open heaven or doing what God wants them to do. Seven, these terrible nightmares when your dream life becomes a battlefront, when you are fighting against strange forces, headless creatures, legless creatures in the dream. When waking up is a relief to you, then you know that you need to deal with the spirit of Beelzebub. Eight, handwriting of darkness on body. People do wake up with strange marks all over their bodies, as if somebody has been scratching them all over their bodies. Sometimes blood emanates from these marks. It is the mark and activity of the Beelzebub spirit. Now is the bone arrows, the fire arrows into the bones, and inside the bones will be completely painful. And sometimes there is an ability to even walk because of too much pain inside the bones. I bind and I cast out every spirit of Bezebub that has entered into anyone's bone. In the name of Jesus, a sevenfold amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen, amen. 10. is bombardment of afflicting powers. These powers just keep afflicting the person. Left, right, center, forward, everywhere is full with bombardment of these powers. Causing trouble, causing affliction. It is a characteristic of attack by Bezebub spirit. 11 is insect attacks. People feel as if insects are after them. People feel biting sensations all over the body. People feel pin-like touches in all their bodies. This insect attack is definitely the sweet of Beelzebub. Twelve is cobweb attacks. Just finding cobwebs on the head, in the room, in the clean house is attacked by Beelzebub spirit, love of the flies. Thirteen. It's cockroaches and roaches attacks. Just find the multiplication of cockroaches and roaches all over the place, and you don't know where they're coming from. 14 is oppressive manipulation. The person is being oppressed, and oppressed in such a way that you are not able to even know the source of the manipulation. They call your enemies friends and your friends enemies as a form of oppressive manipulation. 15. They cause demons to be worshipped alongside men. When men begin to worship demons instead of God, they are under the attack of the Bezebub of spirits. Support of tyrants and dictators. 16. It's evidence of the attack and power of Bezebub of spirits. 17. is always falling victims of false prophets, false priests, false pastors. It's evidence of attack by the visible spirits. 18 is bringing somebody into jealousy and envy and bitterness. It's an attack by the visible spirit. 19 is murders. People kill each other. People kill senselessly. People take delight in snuffing out other people's lives. They are controlled by this terrible power, the visible spirit. 20 is that they instigate wars fighting between nations and peoples. These are the characteristics of the Beelzebub spirits. How do you deal with Beelzebub spirits? Elijah's method is the only method available to deal with these spirits. The Bible says the violent take it by force. Elijah's method goes like this. Number one, you need to surrender your life to Jesus and become a friend of God so that your words will matter in heaven and in hell. Number two, you need to pronounce the curse of God upon the visible spirit after the order of Elijah. Number three, you need to bind and cast out powers and activity of the visible spirits. And then you need to wage war against the activity and power of visible spirits. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. We need to understand this in order to confront the Babylonian kingdom. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this teaching. We give you praise. 
Continue to educate your people by your power. Continue to lay your hands upon them. Continue to teach your people warfare that will bring victory to their lives. To you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you in Jesus' name. Continue to join the rest of the service.